Welcome back, Summit Esports. Welcome back to The Climb. Today, I am joined by, once again, Mr. Brissy. What's going on, sir? What up? What up? What up? Let's, let's go, Mr. Brissy. And joining me, special guest. He was supposed to be here a couple weeks ago, but yes. now he's back. Alturas, welcome. How you doing, sir? Good. It's good to be back. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. So, um, what you been up to, then? What you been up to? Um, well, I've got two league teams right now, TKT and uh, the Summit Diamond team. Um, so okay. I've been practicing, keeping quiet, keeping low with them, and um, I don't know, just playing things other than league, honestly, a lot. Um, Fair. Game, yeah. game is Especially kinda... now that I'm out of playoffs, I'll have plenty of free time. <laughs> so. <laughs> now, well, you still get the Diamond team. And just out of curiosity, how is the Diamond team going? Is it is it good, bad, maybe medium? It's going okay. It's going okay. We had like a little rough patch in the middle of the season um, and probably lost a game or two that we probably shouldn't have. Um, mm. But um, we just went through, there's like a, there was like a gauntlet system to um, determine seeding for okay. playoffs and we 2-0'd. So we, nice. Um, nice. Um, Very nice. I think we're, I think we're fifth seed now. Um, and then there's like eight total teams or whatever. Um, so yeah, we're, we're in an okay spot for playoffs. Um, nice. Obviously. Nice. Mm -hmm. nice well good to good to know some team is absolutely dominating in their in their league but let's look at summit we have Hooray. officially finished the regular season week nine games have just finished no joke like 20 minutes ago so yep. we're ready we're ready we're here we're finally here to record the final fi final regular season episode of the of the climb but don't worry, we'll be back for the Swiss bracket and playoffs. But let's start with the first games. Um, first game, the Academy versus the Krusty Trap. Um, yeah, I mean TKT clears, right? That's what. That's what. Uh, that's what everyone oh, was saying. Oh yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a series. I think uh, our <laughs> our first game uh, was actually like kind of close. I think we have this consistent issue on TKT where even when we do get leads, we kind of have trouble closing out. And um, I think it kind of showed in that first game. Um, we had some nice ideas early on, but ultimately uh, the game plan just wasn't there throughout the entire of the entirety of the game. Um, yep. <laughs> and then uh, team morale got a little bit shot before game two. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah. It looked like like game two, like I'm not exaggerating Noah and uh, Steven were just like, are these guys like soft inting right now? <laughs> like, like, and I quote, like, are these guys soft inting? Because you guys kind of were just standing there, just like, hi, we're just, we're just here. I don't know about soft inting, but I definitely think that morale was already shot. We were like, okay, we lost game one, so like we're guaranteed all out of playoffs already. I don't think that it was a ton of motivation on the team. Right. Um, but I think that. You know, I, I'm happy that I got the opportunity to play with these guys. I had a ton of fun throughout the season. Um, the Academy looking super, super good. Um, and I'm excited to watch them go into playoffs. I'm excited to root for my boy uh, Noah in the playoffs. And okay. I think he's going to do really well. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited. Um, well, I guess I'm biased. But I'm excited to play as well um, because we're actually having to replace um, Sunny Blues because he has to leave halfway through playoffs he said yes so we'll be we'll be getting uh our buddy uh op uh yeah op kill switch back he played in the ellen's entourage series so we'll have him on for the rest of the se um season so i'm pretty excited so i get to i get to play top line for the rest of the season so that's pretty exciting for for me it's unfortunate um, for you because i'm playing top lane uh, listen <laughs> I, no we're just gonna we're just gonna hug it out brissy we're just gonna <laughs> hug it out we're just gonna you're gonna play poppy i'll play orn and we're just gonna vibe out on the top lane well i might want orn because i got that new skin man I, I got the new skin too <laughs> i think when you guys get around to recording uh solo or bolo that should definitely be a question oh you know, who's, who's hey, gonna win hey hit up uh hit up venom hit, hit, hit up venom um but yeah i mean the academy ever, i mean i don't really have a whole lot to say i mean your top lane sub was actually kind of nuts for a bronze player i was like wait this guy is just absolutely stomping me he almost solo killed me like four times 
because he brought ignite <laughs> game one he egoed you he 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 did ego me and he lost hard <laughs> <laughs> That's that's brutal, man. Damn. Well, so I shouldn't say you lost hard, but I actually almost like died way more than I thought I was, and I had a lot staking on the game. I was like, hey, if I if I die, uh, if I get solo killed, I'm retiring. I did not get solo killed, so we're Fair. good. Um, Fair enough. But you know, it was pretty interesting because like he. I don't know who who he was or anything like that, but he played phenomenally well, and I'm surprised he isn't playing in Summit. Maybe he just didn't have any things to do. Maybe Godspeed um, didn't know. Um, but hopefully he'll come back for next season. Maybe. We'll see. But, Bercy, any thoughts on this series before we move uh, on? No. No, I do not have any. Okay. Uh, shout out to TKT for... Um toughing it out playing the whole season regardless of how it went i know uh, i know alturis here said that um he had some fun but i will say that <laughs> a lot of those games didn't look fun so i Fair. appreciate you guys for looking you know for the the good in it all so um mm -hmm. the academy i hope they fall early in the playoffs shut up <laughs> shut up nah, um, i'll be rooting for them but um i actually have a question for you garrett how was it playing yeah. with um silva um, it was fine. Uh, I think that Silva is an extremely mechanically talented player. I think that if you're looking for him to be a leader, it's not really what he is. Um, mm. Makes sense. He he kind of goes in with his own game plan and, you know, you either can play around it or you can't. But, um, yeah, he, he's not a particularly vocal type. I think that um, there's some comparisons between him and other summiters we've seen in the past like set up um and other quiet personalities who are individually really really talented um and you can tell that they stand out just looking at the stats and you know their score lines right. in the game and what they're doing but yeah he he's a good player and i hope he comes back to summit and i hope that he gets a team that can play around him and his strengths and i hope that he lands on a team that um has strong leadership so that he isn't having to fill a role that he isn't necessarily comfortable in. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I think he was fine to play with. Yeah. And I, and like, like we said, like TKT, I don't think anyone was extremely bad. It was just like, the problem was, is like just the rank disparity in the solo lanes was just really hard to like, um, manage against some of these other teams because you just have some of these so many of these heavy hitters in these solo lands like like mid too easy never saw owen um mm. dunk you know you have all these heavy hitters that are just destroying these like bronze and silver players so it's it is hard for tkt um to win but i mean they played they had a good time so that's that's all that matters right have a good time and learn yeah so got bonks by noah Got fucked by Noah. What, <laughs> one one extra one one extra seat uh, ward, uh, or vision score, <laughs> game one. Oh, I think. actually, actually, so so the funny <laughs> thing about that was in game one, yes, he had one more vision score than me, but in game two, I had one more vision score than him, so we tied out. Oh, really? <laughs> that's that's yeah. funny. It's a wash. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. But let's go ahead and move on to our game two, um, fraud watch versus Beaver Brigade. Um, I mean, Beaver Brigade didn't really need to play this series a whole lot. Or, or sorry, they did need to play this, um, but they did 2-0. Um, it was just a pretty clean 2-0. Um, they actually swapped A's and Jason and um, mm -hmm. Them. Uh, and so A's and Jason played bot lane and Them played jungle. And they were just they were just bickering the whole time in game two. Um, but, I mean, Beaver Brigade um, with their 2-0 uh, locked fifth place very early. Um, they were like the first team to lock um, anything. Um, but we sadly have to say to probably the best Summit team ever, Fraud Watch. Um, best five team ever. Sorry, TKT. True. But, like, it does... I do feel bad that Fraud Watch didn't, like, get more... Uh, have more success. I just think 
the problem with the team is that there were there weren't enough carry potential in these um, in these players. I think they're all good individual players, but I don't think any of them um, shine out as carry players. Is what I would well, say. I don't, I don't know if I would necessarily agree with that. I, I mean, there there were some individual games by Donnie that really impressed me. I oh, thought right. the Showgap yeah. games were hilarious, uh, but <laughs> also also like a good indicator of just how good he is at playing mid lane. Um, mm-hmm. I think that they had, again, like you said, they're, they're kind of not a ton of carry players on that team, but I do think that they showed their moments. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I mean, Giuseppe hack, I, I won't discredit it as well. Um, had a mm-hmm. lot like really good score lines and everything like that. Just a lot of unfortunate games of like, it's like, Oh, okay. Hey, the, the mid laners fed or something like that, or the top laners fed junglers fed, you know, something like that. Um, or just bad team fights or something like that. Mm. Um, so, I mean, but it is unfortunate, but I will say Fraud Watch was definitely a fun team to watch. I think, like like I said, personalities-wise, Fraud Watch is number one, hands down. Um, so, I mean, that's all I really got for this series. Uh, Brissy, you got any, any thoughts? Yeah, I mean, uh, Beaver Brigade... They ended the season on a very, very strong win streak and ended it off against, yes, the you know the team that everybody knew probably wasn't going to perform as well as some other teams in the league. But um, you got to give them credit where credit is due. Again, they fucking sorry swearing. Um, <laughs> I, they how many times their... do you think I've sweared? <laughs> they enjoyed the season. They made the most of it, uh, and they mm-hmm. didn't give up. And that's all that's all yeah. you can ask for. Because like you like you were saying earlier, there are some crazy heavy hitters in this league. So to be a team that's on the lower rung of uh of rank, mm-hmm. you, you know, they, they they toughed it out. Yeah, and um yeah, Beaver Brigade on a five game win streak right now. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, they are they're on a hot one right now. So Yes. Um but the question is, is can they continue into playoffs? And we'll talk about more about that here in a bit. Um, but let's move on to our third series, uh, the Bendables versus Roblins Goblins. Um, to be honest, I don't really know what's going to happen to the Bendables. Um, they have their moments and they have their games, but I feel like they struggle a lot because I, when watching their games, I feel like they struggled to like maybe close out games. Um, they have some really good team fight um, team comps and everything like that, but I feel like sometimes they struggle to close out games because they'll have a lead, but they won't. Um, they'll like get picked or something like that, or take a bad fight, and they'll like lose that lead, and the other team can just transition it into them winning the game. So, yep. don't really know how they'll they're going to progress. Um, but Roblins Goblins on the other side, I'm gonna be honest. I still think this is the team to be. I, like, mm-hmm. I know the academy is first, but I honestly think Roblins Goblins is still the team to beat because, like, even though they have not been quote unquote playing the game seriously, they're still winning their games, and that's crazy to me because, like, the academy, it's like yes, we're. We're still trying to win the game because we want to, to win. Rob, uh, Robin's Goblins, well, they're just playing to play the game pretty much. They're just trying to have a good time is how Rob likes to play. So right. we'll see how um, the Bendables kind of play into their next couple of games. Um, they're playing the Academy, so we'll see how that goes. Um, Robin's Goblins, I mean, I don't know. I, ha- I don't have a whole, a whole lot to say about this series just because – I wasn't able to um, catch it, but we'll see how it goes. Um, Alturus, any thoughts? Man, you missed a fun series if you missed this one. Uh, I, I, my... I missed it. Yeah. Uh, my my highlight for the series, personally, was uh, Big Dummy on the uh, <laughs> the Rumble and then the Draven uh, support, which was just... <laughs> Wait, was this the R- Rumble, Dra- Rumble Draven Riven? No, no, that's the that he played that against my team. Oh, oh wait, I'm mixing. Oh, yeah, no, you, I thought yeah, he I think... played. I thought he played Rumble this last week against the Bendables. He might have, but maybe, yeah, maybe okay, Rumble, Rumble, Draven. Rumble, oh, then Draven, he played Blitzcrank. Was, yeah. Okay, okay, my bad. 
Yeah, no. Uh, they've been playing... I, I don't know where to put Goblins Goblins right now, because they have shown a few more vulnerabilities in the last couple of weeks, but it's hard to tell exactly how seriously they're taking it at the moment. I think right. that some of the members have been vocal about not taking it very seriously ever since they qualified for playoffs or top four or whatever. To, um, yeah, to add to add to that, not to interrupt, sorry to interrupt, but mm -hmm. um, we did we did Fearless Draft, uh, the GKC versus Roblin's Goblin series in week, uh, in week eight, and that was kind of like agreed upon by both teams that we, you know, both teams that already locked playoffs, we just, you know, kind of went in with, with, uh, with the idea that, I mean, yeah, we want to win the series, but at the mm -hmm. same time, it is what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually didn't know that. I didn't realize it was fearless stuff that you guys were trying out, but I was watching stream muted. Um, yeah, that's where the, the rumble Draven Riven supports. That came makes from. sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure that, uh, big dummy played, uh, rumble again though, against the bendables in yep. one of the games, they... but, um, yep. Yeah. Right. It, it was between him and, and uh, Rob just putting on a clinic in the bot lane. Although I will say that Dandy, uh, the Renekton was looking good for a little while there, but Renekton kind of falls into this problem where he can't really do anything if he's just getting yeah, I mean, kited and mm -hmm. pulled yeah. around. So I mean, the other problem is like, yeah, you're you may be killing the enemy lane, but you're also it's a, it's a scion. It's like, yeah, he's gonna like you can kill him early, but once like. 20 minutes hit and he has two items it's like he doesn't really care he's just difficult. he's just yeah. he be, he becomes really hard to kill all of a sudden it's like so i think that i think like realistically i think the bendables the series i think i think them locking playoffs i mean yes they did want to win the uh this game because therefore they locked seventh um but i mean I think this was a pretty solid showing for the Bendables, though. I think they played yeah. well well into what they were playing against, I should say. Um, I mean, Murph and Tubby, I mean, you're playing against the number one bot lane, so it's... I, yeah, I, I, it's, I, I it's sympathize hard. with Tubby. It, it, the, the series didn't look great for him, but I, I'm, most supports can't do well into Dean in the first place. Dean and Rob... Um, they're extremely consistent. Oh they're my gosh, wait a minute. I think they, I think they egoed, by the way. What do you mean? Oh, never mind. It's it just glitched. Oh, what's glitched? Never mind. I'm I'm looking. The website <laughs> so, looked weird. I thought they didn't ban oh. for some reason, and I was like, oh. I was like, wait, they didn't ban. They they egoed, and they won. I don't know. I don't. I don't have the website up. I'm sorry. No, you're um, good. The uh, I want to say though that like, the bendables look really good but i feel like they also have these games where they kind of also just look like they're a solo queue team and not much more um, yeah with that being said i think that it'll be fun to watch them in playoffs but i am yeah. you know they they have i think a tough road ahead of them in playoffs which we'll get to later um, yeah but yeah but let's move on to game number four ellen's entourage versus crayola <laughs> consumers um this game, uh, only one game was played because CC was apparently so late that EE just took the free win. Um, yep. So they had one game. They had um, a jungle sub, um, OT Gator. OT Gator played three games this week, by the way. they played. He played TKT. He played in the Ellen's Entourage versus CC. And then he is now the new jungler for SMD. So he, he's all over the place. He, he is... He has quite literally played on three different games this week. So very, very highlight of OT Gator this week. Um, but, I mean, like, for game, for the only game that was played, um, I mean, OT Gator had a really strong showing in the early game on the Elise. Um, however, I do want to talk about one team fight that really, like, changed, like, literally ended the game. Uh, was the two v five Vince versus a Vince and Array versus the whole team of Cradle Consumers? They hit a nasty Pike R, or Vince hit a nasty nasty Pike R that killed like three people in one shot, and Array just cleaned up everyone else. And like, like honestly, this series was Vince MVP in my opinion. I mean, Vince was making a lot of plays um, around the map. 
Like, I think it was, like, four minutes or something like that. They were It was, like, a 3v2 in the top lane. Yeah. It was... A champ, a champ is just ridiculously unbalanced. He was playing Pike, which is nuts. So, I, it's very, not the first Pike we've seen. Yeah, very frustrating champion to play against, and I feel for... Mm-hmm. I feel for CC because, I mean... I, I don't know. I think they may have may have had a chance to, you know, bring that bring that series back, but uh, the unfortunate mm-hmm. um, single game series. Yeah, I think. Honestly, I think what comes down to it is how like for for this specific game, I think it's like how how you can not let Array and Vince, you know, create a lead in that bot lane. Because I mean, Red Ranger and. Um, uh, BBW Sun were actually doing very well, I would say, um, early game into uh, Array and Vince, but they did kind of fall off later in, in the game. Um, the, a couple really good MFRs though for Red Ranger, so we'll give them props for that. But the, tra- the trash talk after that series was was crazy. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> really? I didn't see yeah. it. I think Darn some it. of it ended up. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think it got a little too heated at yeah, points. It was, uh, it was between between Red Ranger and um, oh, I can't remember who. Maybe my hot daddy. I think maybe. Oh. Oh wait, no, that's a different. That's a different occasion. Never mind. I was thinking about yeah, something else. I think it was it was more internal trash talk uh, for the C- team of CC yeah. rather than back and forth between Ellen's entourage. But uh, yeah. I do know I do know that injustice has taken the crown uh in the battle of the bronx yes oh yes that's right um Mm. and i think we should get him a trophy for that (laughs) Mm -hmm. or a crown um put it on his head all playoffs speaking of injustice um i thought injustice played really well into owen this series um Mm-hmm. While he he did get his signature pick, his NAR, which NAR, he is yeah. he is known for, he played really well. Uh, he was making plays around the map. Um, he wasn't dying to him solo, which was really good for um, Ellen's entourage. And I think I I think like by the end of the game, I think he was like seven and six or something like that on the NAR. While something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think Owen was like like one and six or something like that. So, I mean, really, really good game for Injustice. So I will shout out Injustice for that. Mm. Um, but yeah, any other any other thoughts for, for this series, gentlemen? No, I don't uh, think so. I think All that, right. uh, you know, CC being, it's still being a very, very strong team. Uh, I don't know what their matchup is first round of Swiss. Oh, but, um, we'll cover that. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah we'll talk so, about it. But let's move on to the final series, the one that just got played. Uh, GK3, GKC versus SMD. Um, game one was really spicy. Brissy getting a solo kill onto RP3 game one. Yeah, uh, D- D2 top laner getting diffed by a guy who D-ranked to gold one today. Yeah, can I... Mean, uh, um, <laughs> if you were listening to Never Saw Scream, um, <laughs> and I quote, Brissy said, this guy's shit. <laughs> This guy's ass. Or is this guy's ass. Sorry, my apologies. This guy's ass. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'll, t- I'll talk a little bit about game one just right now real quick. Um, yeah. I know, I've know i known Cooper a very, very long time since uh, junior high, high school. Uh, I know how he plays league. I knew that um, I knew that once I had gotten that solo kill, which uh, people underestimate my poppy, uh, and we knew that banning him out of champs like Kale, Gwen, Fiora were going to be uh it was going to be really good for us um but i knew after that solo kill he was coming back to lane to ego which uh led to me calling up gar and that led to the second kill which i think just allowed top lane to um just be mine for the rest of the game Mm -hmm. which is really fun but uh games two and three um uh the trundle (laughs) shen matchup not great (laughs) <laughs> and then, uh, I mean, once once we had lost game two, um, Noah had put out in the Discord that Syria, the seedings was locked. And going into game three, we were yep. prepared to have fun. And many instances where we could have taken that game over, but uh, a lot of a lot of mid game fights that we didn't need to take had just resulted in a Jinx being mega fed. 
Yep. Shout out to Nico. Uh, shout out to RP3 for the great ults. And shout out to GamerD for a ton of really good baits that, um, yeah. <laughs> that got us killed. <laughs> Gamer, GamerD um, had, a, had a very good series on the Nautilus. Game 2 and 3 on the Nautilus. He was he was popping off, making yeah. a lot of plays around the map. So, got we'll give props to that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, I mean, like, yeah, as soon as game two was over, I kind of st- I I would I want to say I kind of stopped watching because I know they I know never saw pick the Nasus, which w- looked really scary about forty minutes, <laughs> but uh, I I don't think she quite hit a thousand stacks i think she was like a couple short She's very close very, very close, close. So I, I was like i'll take i'll take full blame for the loss on game three because as they're pushing our mid inhib i just i get nautilus hooked cc'd for what was it 17 seconds i think uh and then 32 i just, I just die out 40 yeah. i don't know 10 minutes maybe i don't know but <laughs> what, um, <laughs> what? That 17 just, that seconds just Gave him the window to end the game. Uh, so, I mean, I, I apologize to Never Saw because she's she's literally, like, taking their entire base but can't win that base race. So Yeah, I was like, oh, wait, Never Saw is just going to push. It's going to be a base race yep. here. And, uh, yeah, it was just not quick enough. The, the 3v4 I'd say, I'd say was not until, strong enough. Yeah. Up until, like, the 12, you know, th- or 14, 15 minute mark, I think that we had an opportunity to – to seal that game um but just a lot of a lot of misplays yeah for sure but i mean that's okay um you guys lock uh gkc lock fourth mm-hmm. um smd um go up in the standings um they only and needed... most importantly tkt has a member in playoffs yeah true <laughs> yeah ot gate it's that's crazy to me that ot gator is now a permanent sum on another team played it on another team and is now on another team so this would be played, this played would be three separate series in the final yes. week and Vader then, carries this league for real yeah, permanent i mean it, you look back at last season when he was a permanent sub on mnc the, the, brought that team to the finals this this would be a weird story to happen again lazy mm-hmm. listen this would be a weird story to happen again ot gator joins yeah, I mean, a team right before playoffs and I mean, brings it to finals. Ta- you're talking to the you're talking to the match fixer of of Summit <laughs> right here. I, I listen, OT Gator better not go to the finals again. I, <laughs> otherwise, I'm calling it. It's rigged. Everything's rigged in Summit. But we'll see. <laughs> but with that, um, let's actually take a look at um, the Swiss packet and the matchups for. If you have not seen it, I'll show you guys real quick. Here is the Swiss bracket for uh summit uh premier league so i this is uh, it's called the swiss stage but it's like more of like playoffs or pre-playoffs i don't really know how to like determine it but it's essentially playoffs so we have four games that we still need to play and they are the zero zero matches so if you win the series you go to the one oh matches if you lose you go to the oh one matches um, now, if you win one of those 1-0 matches, you are automatically locked in for the uh, top four. Now, if you lose um, the 0-1 matches, then that's where the kind of that's where it stops for you. Um, but if you win, that's where the grind kind of starts. Um, mm-hmm. We'll kind of talk about that throughout the for uh, throughout the couple weeks here on the climb. But let's focus on the matchups for this coming week of the Swiss bracket. Swiss bracket starts officially on April 8th, which is in two days um, as we are recording this on the 6th. But let's start off with game uh, or series number one, seed one versus seed eight. Um, The Academy versus the Bendables. Um, To be honest, um, we saw the first time these two teams have played. The, The Academy showed a very strong showing against the Bendables. Um, I I don't I don't really know what to say about um, the Bendables without sounding rude, I guess. Um, but I mean, I think what needs to happen is um, well, one game one they shouldn't have troll picked uh, 
like Casio Timo bot lane in the the academy series, but yeah, I think overall the Bendables have a they have a they have a long road to climb. I would say this would be a crazy story again. Um, however, they didn't have someone join mid battle, but or mid uh, season, but it would be a crazy story for have the. Oh gosh, what was the team last season that made it all the way to MNC? MNC, thank you. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, this would be this would be a really interesting story for for MNC, another crazy story like MNC from basically last right to, to finals to finals. Um, the academy, though, I mean, they have been looking really hot. I will not lie. I think they they're on a four game win streak. Um, they are the only team that has gone either 2-0 or 0-2. So, while they don't have... They have the most points because they either win out or they don't have any points because they lose out. And they've only lost right. to two people. They've lost to GKC and Robins Goblins, so seed 2 and seed 4. So, we'll see how those uh, matchups go if they meet each other here in the Swiss bracket. But, I mean, I'm not a... I'm, I don't want to say anything because I'm biased here. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Let's start with Alturas. Um, I think I kind of hinted, hinted to this earlier, um, talking about the Bendables. But I do think that they have a tough road ahead of them. I think the Academy you know, is looking pretty clean. And they didn't really struggle against the Bendables before. And unfortunately for them, I don't see this first match against the bendables going uh anything else but in favor of the academy right now especially with the form that they're in um i think that the bendables do have some chances um obviously pyrosis can be like a solo carry type um and they've got what murph and tubby uh bot lane which can always put up a good fight um but I do think that the Academy shows a level of coordination that is kind of rare amongst the teams in Summit at the moment. Um, and I think that this first uh, match between the two is just going to the Academy. That's a fair, that's a pretty good assessment. Um, Brissy, your thoughts on this series? Yeah, I mean, I'd agree. It's uh, when you talk about the seeding, TA is, or the Academy's seed one for a reason, and the Bendables are seed eight for a reason i think um i think the way that the the seating has shaken out uh toward the end of the season is very um a very clear showing of of how these how all of these teams have been performing through the regular season and i don't think a lot of that change is going into playoffs uh mm. granted granted my team did lose to the bendables so i can't i mean i can't say much <laughs> hey but... my team lost to every team in playoffs so <laughs> But uh, yeah, I think I think the academy has just a much stronger um, team chemistry than the Bendables do. But mm-hmm. like I mean, like Alteris was saying, uh, Pyrosis is definitely a uh, potential of carrying. Uh, as does Murph. Murph. I mean, Murph's a great player, and so I think a lot of a lot of this series is going to be weighed on mm. how much you can mitigate mid two easies um, uh, impact and how bot lane goes. And I don't want to even discredit um, Dandy. Like I think he also has carry potential. And honestly, I it think true. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. I think the problem with the first time he played the series. I think honestly, I think what really happened is he gave um, myself counter pick both games, and so I just got mm-hmm. two free matchups that I already knew. So okay. I think with um, how draft went. I hope the Bendables come more prepared, especially the second time around. So I'm not ex- expecting it to go the same way as um, our first time playing them. So mm-hmm. we'll see how this goes. Once again, it, it they're all all this Swiss bracket is best of three. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but let's move on to match B, which is Robins Goblins versus SMD. So. The new new SMD is uh, coming uh, very strong here. <laughs> um, 
you know, showing <laughs> up and being... <laughs> I say new new because this is the second person that they replaced. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we'll see how this goes. Um, Roblins, Goblins, I mean, once again, like I said, this is my, in my opinion, the team to beat. So we'll yeah. see how they face off against SMD. Um, you know, SMD, like, this is the first series we've seen them play as um, a new team with OT Gator, and I will say they did look pretty strong. Um, I mean, granted, I think Game 3 goes a lot different if GKC actually put forth the effort. Uh, I mean, I'm okay. I'm not gonna say that we didn't try, but I because because seating was decided, we went into the game just with with the idea that we're gonna have some fun, like we're gonna we're gonna enjoy okay. our time. Um, so I'm, I'm not I'm not trying to discredit SMD at all no, for winning no, the series. For sure. um, but I I do think that if uh, <laughs> I think it's it's tough to say because whether smd comes out seventh seed or eighth seed i think mm -hmm. both matchups are incredibly difficult, difficult. yeah yeah yep. it's 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 really hard for them to um to to win those yeah, yeah. and i've I, i'm kind of in the same boat here as brissy i think that smd you know it really doesn't matter where they ended up with that series result um you know they've got the ship of theseus experiment going on and i'm kind of wondering if that's going to help them or hinder them at the moment but either way roblins goblins are such a powerhouse team to beat at the moment and when they're actually mm -hmm. trying you know when when they're actually playing at like full full potential and they're fired up all the way and they're full deafened in discord <laughs> they, they're a very scary <laughs> team to beat um yes, definitely uh, yeah fair fair i mean i I'm cur currently predicting Roblins Goblins to take this. I mean, we'll see how SMD faces off against them. I'm thinking it's probably going to be a 2-0, but who knows? Maybe it'll go 2-1. Um, I can I can right now I can maybe see SMD taking a game. Maybe Riven Player, OT Gator, and Foster maybe come up with something in that top side that can just clear, um, clear the whole rest of the lanes. But we'll see. How it goes? I don't know, man. Rob, I mean, Rob, or Dean specifically. It when when my team went up against them, it just felt like Dean changes the way the game is played, specifically oh, yeah. how support is played. Oh. Yeah. I mean, the guys, yeah. the guys, top, the guys top lane at level six, diving. Uh, he's anywhere on the map. He he could be there. It doesn't matter yeah. unless you see him. Unless you see him on your mini map, it's he could be at any at any point. Yeah, that makes sense. It's just a really a really tough counterplay, and it's it's it'll be really hard for um, RP3 specifically being I think the new carry of that team mm -hmm. uh, that they want to play toward. Uh, it's it's it'll be hard. Yeah, that's fair. But let's move on to match number C: Ellen's Entourage versus Karela Consumers. So we're getting a rerun from Week Nine. But the question is: is will it be the same? Or will CC come up with something different this time? Because now I will say they didn't have Odysseus, so mm -hmm. maybe Odysseus changes a lot of the things, um, um, how Cradle Consumers want to play the game. But, I mean, like I said, it was only one game they played, so we don't know how, you know, games two or three could have went. So, I mean... I'm kind of up in the air with this one because, like, I Ellen's Entourage is a still really good team. They locked third. You know, like, they've struggled a lot through this, like, second half through um, uh, second half of regular season. Because, so, they, so they beat SMD. They lose to the Academy. Um, they beat Fraud Watch. They lose to Beaver Brigade. And they come in and win against uh, Cradle Consumers. So, I mean... I mean, three and two, but I mean, I should have said before SMD, they lose to Roblins Goblins. So it's like, I mean, you're three and three in your last six games. So, I mean, yes, it does kind of suck, but, you know, I think it's more about how you bounce back. Mm -hmm. So, and I think Ellen's Entourage with them beating CC and then playing, getting to play um, them again, they kind of have, okay, this is how we can beat them. Um, 
and then maybe just having like a backup plan. It's like, okay, let's try to use that same, you know, game plan that we had playing them the first time. And let's see if we can't execute it again just as fluidly. Um, right. Now, CC, like I said, if Odysseus is back, um, which to my understanding he is, um, or he'll be back, they, I should say. And they actually get to play a best of three. Yeah, and they actually get to play a best of three. Um, I think this team, like I said, I I, pre- I initially predicted CC to win this series. Um, but then I changed EE at last minute of the series. Oh, hang on. Let's just announce it. Predictions. Uh, Brissy won. Hooray. Woo. Whatever. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Yeah, Brissy. I'll sh- I fixed all the matches. I made all the teams that I wanted to win He's win. He's such a match fixer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will. I will release the um, every everyone's uh, um, standings and uh, results uh, a little bit later. How on the Discord for Summit? So make sure you go check it out. Um, but going back to the Swiss bracket, um, yeah, I mean Ellen's entourage. If they play this the same way they did against. CC this fall this coming week I'm expecting them to go to uh, or winning the series 2-0 fair enough but um Brissy let's hear your thoughts uh so yeah I taking into consideration the last series that they that they played against each other like you know if if the entirety of CC is back um they get to play a full best of three I think that they learn from how even just that one game that they played against Ellen's Entourage, I think that was very uh, very good for them to learn what they can do differently. Um, mm. Because I, I, I fully believe that CC has the capability of beating Ellen's Entourage. But at the same time, you look at the, you know, Ellen's Entourage are just so well-rounded in yep. every way. Array yep. is... Uh, Array and... Um, uh, da, 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 who's Vince. their support now? Vince, 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 Vince. Vince. Um, Array and Vince have been playing great. I think Array is probably at the top of the ADC um, rankings at the moment, just purely based off of play. Followed very closely behind or with Rob, uh, Roblin right behind him. But um, mm-hmm. if I were to predict the winner of the series, I would say Ellen's Entourage. But I think it's going to be a lot closer than people think. Three games. Three games. Yeah, yeah, I I can see that as well. Um, like I said, I don't think um, I don't think um, like CC is a pushover or anything like that. I mean, Owen Odysseus, really good players. Um, mm-hmm. Red Ranger, BBW Slammer have been playing exceptionally well, especially against some of these tougher bot lanes. Um, you know, kind of hanging in there. Um, but once once you play, you know, Robins Goblins or if it goes just like how this last series went, I mean, Array, I mean, Ray and Vince didn't do anything too spectacular in the early game, but once they started playing team fights, they, you know, excelled in a very uh, predominant way. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, this uh, is the series that I'm looking forward to the most. Uh, not just because I think it's kind of like the hardest one to call, in my opinion, but. Um, you know, these are my two former team captains, Soulpan and Red Ranger, fighting against each other. First round of the Swiss stage, so um, I'm definitely going to be keeping my eye on this series. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I, I think I agree with Brissy. I think that you know, they're and in, Ellen's entourage is a very, very well-rounded team, and it's pretty hard to find an honest weakness in their team. Um, so I think that. I think that it's going to be a 2-0 for Ellen's Entourage, actually. Yeah. Fair enough. And at the start of the season, I honestly thought the same thing with Ellen's Entourage. I thought, oh, okay, this this team is so well-rounded, I literally do not see them ever losing a series. Um, but then I was proven wrong because they played Robins Goblins and they fell short. Uh, and then they played um, the next five games and they went three and two in their series so we'll see what will happen like i said i think alan's entourage will go 2-0 um but like i said cc is no pushover i think they're gonna come back swinging so but let's talk about match number d our final matchup um gkc versus beaver brigade so 
I mean, GKC, like I said, they did just lose the series versus SMT. But I think the other thing is, like, GKC, they're they're good. They're a really good team. Like, Neversaw is such a crazy player. And yeah, she's so good, dude. She's so she, good. She, her voice in the games, like, I don't know if you've ever heard the comms in the if you haven't heard the comms, please go and watch a Never Saw VOD of um, G- of GKC games. Like her voice in the series is just so impactful on how GKC play this game. So, definitely, I mean, she's she's definitely our game manager. Absolutely, her and Gar <laughs> are great leaders. Yep. Um, looking at how this series may go i mean i have i was a beaver believer the entire season that's partly why i took the lead in predictions was uh taking the underdog in a lot of their series but uh when we matched up in uh i can't remember what week it was maybe week six um i mean we did win that series granted dunk has been just outperforming basically everybody else on his team uh, the week, combo week three. of week three. Yeah, okay, week three. The the combo of him and Asian Jason is very very scary. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that uh, this this is probably one of the better matchups in um, in this Swiss bracket, mm-hmm. along with Ellen's entourage and, and CC. So I I agree that uh, or not agree, but um, I think this is going to be another really fun series to play uh but i'm just gonna i'm gonna say that my team comes out on top Ooh, okay to- totally not mm-hmm. bias not yeah bias, no bias so. no no bias uh, dunk dunk can do whatever he he wants uh <laughs> but it's it's all for naught because yes brissy has match fixed this uh stage Good. already so yep. oh um i know i know the finals i know the finals already <laughs> Yeah, I do think that this is going to be the other like close-ish series um, between mm-hmm. this one and Match C. Um, this is actually the only series that I think is actually going to Game Three, though. Unfortunately, mm. Brissy, I think I am giving it to uh, the Beaver Brigade here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Beaver Brigade is on a hot one. Um, they're they're fi- they're five and zero oh in their last uh, yeah well five and zero oh in their last five games. So. Yep. And now, I will say in three of them, they, I don't know what they were doing, but they lose game one and then come back uh, game two and three. Uh, to, be, to be fair, to be fair, three out of those six or three out of those five games were against teams mm-hmm. that were pretty clear losers in, in those series. Like, That's why I know. said the three, these three specifically. Yeah, like- S- yeah. SMD, TKT, and Fraud Watch. Those are kind of games. Hand. I mean, at the time, SMD was in a. That, that is. That's peak. right. That so. was in their peak of of uh, t- turmoil that that team was going through. Uh, so I don't know. It's it's yeah. it's tough to call. Um, right. Yeah. So, I mean, like I don't know. I Beaver Brigade. Beaver Brigade is a. Is a dangerous team right now. I would say it's a coin, it's, it's a coin flip team. E, mm. Like I don't understand how Beaver Brigade works because like they they're just they're all so angry at each other and yet they just play <laughs> better. It, it just sounds like every team that uh, Asian Jason's ever been on. You know, it's like some of you might know him as a neutral as well previously, and <laughs> every time, man, I, I laugh at the comms. They're he so forces funny. everybody forces everybody to play with a fire underneath their computer chair. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He he he's just like, all right, guys, I'm gonna flame you. You flame me back, and I just get mm-hmm. better and better. And yep. like, I just I just don't understand how it works. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm, I want to test it out and see if it actually works. Yep. Yeah, he's fueled by hatred, and I respect that. So, I mean, like I said, Beaver Brigade is, is a dangerous team right now. I would say um, they're, <laughs> I think with with how they have been playing, if they can continue that throughout playoffs, they I could see this team going to finals. Um, but on the other side, GKC, they're actually the only team um, that has gone a point from every single series. 
Um, they have a guy on at least one point. Well, we don't get two owed. True. Yeah. True. They 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 never got two owed. They have two owed people, but they have not. Uh, they have always go gone to uh, three games at least in most games. I think, to my understanding. Mm-hmm. Um, so. I can I can see this going to three games, but it's about how. I think if you get to game three and A's and Jason and them are just throwing insults at each other, you guys might <laughs> lose. I'm just I mean, pointing it out. In, in uh, our in our series, we played uh, against them. We I think I can't remember if it was game one or game two that we lost. I think it was game one we lost. Uh, uh yes, but uh, it was it was a he- massive draft diff. And if I remember correctly, we had basically handed World Soup about 10 kills within 12 minutes. And it was, I mean, it was, the game was over by the 15 minute mark. Um, but game two, but games two and three, they ended up being uh, really, really strong um, showings from most of our team. Specifically, never saw, uh, if, uh, let me pull it up right now. I think that was the Smolder game was game yep. two where she didn't die yep and then game three they put dunk on garen um which i mean i, I know i know garen is a very heavy carry champ if if you can get the right team comp uh, to allow him to split push but i don't think that happened um <laughs> i think i figured out guys how to be beaver gate so you let them win game one so they're like <laughs> oh all right <laughs> we don't, we don't not sure what to yeah, do. They're like, oh, wait, we don't hate each other. We're actually winning. And then you come back game two and three and you beat them because, mm-hmm. like, after you beat them game two, it's like, oh, wait, we're not we're not heated enough yet. We still need to get – we still need another game to get heated. They're, and then you beat them game vulnerable. three. Yep. Yeah, they're vulnerable when their hopes are highest. Yep, yep. <laughs> I got it, guys. I got it. I know the game plan. So, they're weakest when they've started strong. <laughs> <laughs> so – I mean, I don't have anything else for the series. You guys got anything? Mm-mm. No. no. I think that's it. Well, that is all we got, guys. Um, like I said, Swiss Bracket is its going to be spicy. Um, it be fun. We're going to see how it goes. Um, what mm-hmm. I will say is I don't have a set schedule for um, – the climb or solar bolo because i don't know when games are going to be scheduled hopefully it's going to be the same so hopefully we'll still bring you guys content every wednesday hopefully back on normal schedule hopefully if a game doesn't get um rescheduled till last minute brissy mm-hmm. yeah. yes i know yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> don't worry. I've already voiced my opinion. So you guys uh, just don't just a it. just a heads up to all teams in Swiss. Do not try to pull a GM uh, jungler onto your team at the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> we won't have any problems. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Thank you, Alturis, for joining us once again. Um, it's good to be here. It's it's always a pleasure to have you on the climb. Um, Brissy, always a good time to have you on the climb. I Um, love it. I'm X-Ray. Thank you all for watching. And don't worry, we'll be back next week for The Climb. Woohoo!